Hello everyone, in my ANSYS Workbench Workbench tutorial, today I would like to show you the problem of the simply supported beam. The beam is uh, supported in two points, point A which is the pin support, the point B which is the roll support. We got two forces, force 1 and force 2 and uh, moment. The value of the force 1 is uh, 80 newtons uh, downward, the uh, value of the force 2 is 300 newtons and it's upward. Uh, the moment is 10,000 newton millimeters and it's uh, clockwise. Uh, the length of the beam is uh, 100 millimeters, 75 millimeters, and uh, also 75 millimeters. And here you got the material properties. The cross section of this beam is beam is 10 millimeters on 5 millimeters. Our task is to designate the value of the uh, reaction forces in point A and point B. Uh, maximum deflection of this beam, maximum bending moment uh, and maximum shear force. I also made some analytical uh, calculations and I would like to compare them with the values uh, from the ANSYS workbench uh, analysis. Ok, let's start. First of all we have to define our material. We go to engineering data, we click twice, go add new material, steel, OK, let's go to isotropic elasticity. Uh, Young modulus is, uh, is the 210,000 uh, megapascals. OK, Poisson ratio is 0.3. OK. OK, that's all for the material. We can close the engineering data. Now we're gonna go to uh, sketch. We're gonna go to new design model geometry. We are going to sketch our beam. It's gonna take a while to open. Okay, here we are. Okay, uh, first of all, we have to change the uh, units from the meters to millimeters. Uh, millimeters, okay. Okay, once we got that, go to XY plane. New sketch. Sketching. We're gonna create a three lines. The first. Second and third. Okay, we go to dimension general one, two, three. Like we said, 100 millimeters, 75 millimeters, and 75 mm millimeters. Now we have to define the, uh, we have to create the line from the sketch one uh, that we draw. Uh, to do this, we go to concept lines from sketches we're gonna choose our free lines and apply generate okay like you see we got the line but we don't have the uh, cross section of this beam we have to define it first so we go to concept cross section rectangular like we said, it's 10 millimeters or 5 millimeters. Okay, define our uh, cross section. Now we have to see if the orientation of this uh, cross section is uh, correct. To do this, we go to view, cross section solid. It's it's correct. Okay. Once we do that, we can go to we can close the design modeler. Okay, and let's go to the model. It's gonna take a while to open. In the model, we're gonna to we're going to uh, define our boundary conditions. We we will make our mesh on the on the our line, and we will solve solve the problem. We will check the the values of the reaction forces, bending moment, deflection, and the shear force. Okay, here we are. We have to wait a little, a little bit longer to, to load the fully the mechanical mod, uh, module. Okay. First of all, we're gonna define our uh, material. Uh, wait a moment. Okay. Go to line body. Change the uh, material to the custom uh, material which we created. 
the steel now we have to uh, create our mesh okay that's enough fine that's enough mesh we, we don't have to refine it uh, okay now let's uh, create our boundary condition let's start with the forces first of all we got to we've got the force of the minus uh, 80 newtons so we apply the point and we're gonna change the vector to the uh, components it's much, much easier minus 80 newtons okay the first force is defined let's go to the second force that's gonna be there okay let's change again component to component uh, plus uh, 30 newtons okay now let's go to the moment we want to rotate our moment uh, through the z-axis okay apply again let's change the components uh, z-axis 10,000 one two, three okay but yeah like you see it's counterclockwise and we want to mm, change it to the clockwise so we change it to minus 10,000 newton millimeters okay that's all for the forces now we have to uh, we'll define our uh, now we have to define our boundary conditions to define the uh, our pin support we all have to do is uh, choose the simply supported define the point apply and that's all for the for the the uh, point b like you see the roll support can move in the x direction to do this we have to create the remote uh, displacement choose the point and define the uh, uh, the uh, boundary conditions for, for this uh, support we want to let it move in the uh, x, di x direction so we're gonna uh, leave it free we won't let it move in the y and z so it's gonna change to zero we want that it's also rotate in the x and y direction so we also change it to zero okay that's all for the for for the uh, our uh, boundary conditions now we have to choose the to check first of all we're gonna check the reaction forces point a and point b to do this we go to solution insert probe and force reaction we're gonna choose the simply support it's for point a and uh, let's go to reaction force in the remote displacement for the force uh, b we're gonna solve the problem uh, solve the beam sorry okay the beam is solved here we got the minus 88 83 sorry um, downward newtons uh, minus 83 newtons downward for the point a and minus 133 newtons for the point b also downward and i would like to compare these uh, values with the analytical results that i counted before the this uh, this uh, tutorial like you see here are these values uh, reaction force in the analytical version is uh, 83 newtons it's the same minus 83 newtons it's also minus downward for the point b we've got um, also minus 133 newtons uh, we got the same result that's good now we're gonna see how's the deflection maximum moment and maximum bending moment and maximum shear force looks like to do this we have to create the path first of all go to model construction geometry path change two points to the edge you have to choose our geometry our three lines apply and that's all for the path now we have to go to insert beam results and share moment diagram now we have to choose from this uh, section the path we created before and that's all we can evaluate our, our results and see how's the uh, 
diagram looks like. Like you see, we've got the sh uh, shear force uh, diagram, uh, bending moment diagram, and a uh, displacement diagram or uh, deflection diagram of, of this beam. Like I said, I would like to compare them with the uh, maximum bend, uh, ma uh, with the uh, calculated uh, values. So let's see. The uh, value of the uh, displacement in the ANSYS is 1.31. The calculated is 1.27. It's really small difference. For the bending moment, we've got the 20,000 uh, 20, uh, newton millimeters. We've got the same value, and for the shear force, 163, 163. I also made the uh, diagrams of this uh, shear force and bending moment. Like you see, shear force, shear force, and bending moment, and bending moment. Like you see, the values are almost the same. There's a little bit difference in the uh, maximum deflection, but it's really small. Uh, last thing, we can check the um, maximum. Uh, sorry. Uh, last thing, we we can check the maximum uh, stress that we got in this uh, beam. Let's see how it looks like. It's 222 megapascals since. In this point okay that's all i hope you like this video it would be very nice if you would like to subscribe in the next video I'll, i would like to show you the uh, same beam but in the 3d dimension it was one dimension and we will do this in the 3d dimension we will check the singularities and try to uh, help to solve the problem of the singularities like I said, I hope you liked it, like this video. If you if you like this, subscribe. If you have any question, comment below. And see you in the next video. Bye.